in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed while we take the testimonies, I'm seeing all of these miracles. Now, please hear me. Look up, please. Make sure you don't, don't, when people are healed, they are healed. Don't put anyone under pressure. Are we together? When you lift them and it looks like they have no strength, just keep them there and make sure that you only bring out people who have been healed and touched by the power of God. We're not, we're not stage managing anything here. My friend, what happened to you? I'm looking at this man's leg. What happened to you? My eyes just went to his. It just come like this. I don't know what is happening. You can't walk. Yes. How long has this been? It's taking to two years to. Three. Let me see how you walk. Ah, that's serious. Look at. Please help us under the anointing outside. The name of Jesus. I decree and declare may the power of God touch you in Jesus name now you see when we pray like this when you are on a wheelchair or you are on crutches watch this now what you are supposed to do is try to take a step of faith when you find out that there's pain or you are not relieved you can always calm down while you continue to release your faith right so that you don't leave people worse than you met them no is, is, is wrong for you to the power of God moves to touch people at various levels so those who are helping them make sure you don't inconvenience them and put them like this man once you are healed you can see that you can do what you could not do as clear as simple as that are we together now praise God okay let's take a few testimonies to celebrate what God has done yes please this lady came here yesterday that is a moving object in her stomach moving her object yes, how long my dear Three years. What happens to you? Three years. I was, since I got married, I stopped for this. Are there some other people outside? Okay. I just needed to know if perhaps those who came from outside. You can still join them. The power of God has touched you. Even if we are not able to exhaust all the testimonies now, you can still testify in your various churches. The most important thing is what Jesus did. Go ahead. Can you help us with the sound? Sound people? Okay. Praise the Lord. When I, when I came here yesterday, the man of God said, some will receive their healings today. Before when I lie down on my tongue, I feel as if something is moving on my tongue. And right now, what happened? Yesterday, when I even go back yesterday, I lie down on my tongue, I couldn't feel it. Today, Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, may it never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Next person, please. Sir, you made mention of fungal infection. On yes. The this is the man. Them. Yes. And How the long? Lady, and the lady too. And the lady. It's more than eight years now. More than eight years. What is it like? Um, the, the little finger on my toes, there is a growth in between the last one and the one that is flowing. So whenever I put on any shoe, once the two compress together, I'll be feeling serious pain. Check it. Any pain I have now? Check it. I have compressed it now. No pain. pain. Are you yes, celebrating what Jesus is doing? He also had the eyes. The Your eyes. For how long? It has been long. Very in, long. In the name of Jesus Christ, God who has healed you, perfects everything concerning you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the please. The same fungal infection on her feet, but it has disappeared. She had. Um, she had it darkened the toes, her toenails, for 17 years. For 17 years. And what happened now? I Nothing is there again. Come on, are you giving Jesus praise? Look at this. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. He talked 
about palpitations. Palpitations. Yes, Heart palpitations. Yes, sir. For how long? It has been a year now. Breathe in and out. In and out. Any pain? No, sir. Completely. I decree and declare it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. He's the left ear, right ear. Like you mentioned, the right there ear. There is, I just saw, there is a lady. The right, you have a lung. The right side of your breast. I want you to check it now. You will find out that it's gone. I just saw this while. Check it now. You'll find out that that devil has left your body once and for all. You find out that that miracle has happened, you can come and testify. Go ahead. Let's have a few more and then, okay, go ahead. Sir, my right ear, when you talked about the right ear, I don't hear clearly for about five years now with the right ear. Which of the ears? The right ear, sir. And now what happened? Now I can hear clearly. It's no, opened. No buzzing noise anymore. Place your hand, the one that had a problem. In the name of Jesus, I declare perfection for you even by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name yes please this brother came with uh, he had an ulcer for more than two years but ulcer after, yes sir. but after the prayers it has gone who is here you play football professionally football football professional I'm not saying you just play in the evening when you are you are back from work professionally is there someone like that I just saw that come your life is about to change who is the person you are a footballer professionally what's your name huh Maurice, how long have you how, how long have you played football? For about five years now. Where are you currently? I'm in Gombe, but I'm not with the Gombe United. I'm in with Doma United now. Look at me. Do you believe in the power of God? You believe God can help men? The Lord put it in my heart to pray for you and I want to pray for you. Listen, there is a grace that enthrones. There is a grace that can lift you right from where you are and take you to the nations of the earth. I stretch my hands and I pray for you that when you get there, you will not forget God. Oh. Say amen. Because many people rise, they get there and once in the presence of glitz and glamour, they just throw everything that is God. It's a caution for everyone too. As God lifts you, the Bible says, do not say my power and the might of my hand has given me this, but thou shalt remember. If he says thou shalt remember, it means you can forget. Father, I stretch my hands over your dear son in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. I release you with this grace. May doors open for you beyond your imagination. Within this nation, and outside this nation may God give your career wings in the spirit in the name of Jesus let it be so by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name yes please when I came here in the morning I was feeling pain in my stomach pain I, yes sir yes as after the prayer I can't feel anything completely gone yes. it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit right now hold yes, it yes sir she has the pain and swollen um she had a swollen armpit a swelling in her armpit for like three years like for like three years yes sir and it's gone and what happened now it's gone sir. completely are you celebrating what god is doing which of which of the place your hand there in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that pain leaves you now never to return in the name of jesus and I'm seeing God remove something from your body. I command it to go out now of your body by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Let's take a few more. This, this man, I like to hear his testimony. How long have you been on these crutches? Since November last year. What happened to you, sir? I 
to ask them. Oh dear. May God protect you on the road. May God protect you in the air. May God protect you on water. In the name of Jesus Christ. May no evil come near your dwelling. In the name of Jesus Christ. For this that the Lord has done, we give him all the glory and we declare supernatural perfection. Your miracle remains with you to the glory of the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's see how we can take a few more and then we'll just pray and I speak over your he life. He had yes. difficulties um, swallowing. Swallowing. He just, yes, he said whenever he feels it, he tries to take in water to just push. And right now, he's feeling. Praise God. Straight to the point. Last year, um, July. What happened is that when that is a place to your hand, wherever you are feeling. Yes. I placed my hand in my truth because I can't even take water up to half one such a. But now. I can drink two such a that's right. Did you test yourself? Yes, I, I test myself. Man. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. If she had palpitations. Palpitations? Yes. There is someone I'm seeing. You see how my hands are shaking? That's how your hands shake. The power of God wants to touch you. I'm seeing someone like that. I don't know who, but the, the same way you see my hands shake, that's how it's like, I don't know if it's some kind of sickness. Who is that person? The power of God is touching you right now, bringing you healing. We command that demonic thing to leave now. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. Help them. This madam too, the power of God is coming on her. I declare healing. I don't know the name of that medical condition, but I command that spirit out of you now. In the name that is above all names, be made whole right now. In Jesus' name. Let's see if we can take three or four more very quickly for sake of time. Some of these are mothers. Let me have one or two from them. I, I want to know sir. what has happened. Pile. Pile. For more than 15 years. My goodness. What happened to you, my dear? It, it, it's more than 15 years. They grow in my private parts, three of them. And it's paining me, even yesterday that I come, it's paining me very serious. And now I'm not feeling anything. Oh, my God. More than 15 years enduring this kind of pain. In the name that is above all names, I declare perfection for you. That devil lets you go and he will never, never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Very quickly. This lady here, that she has not been for so many years. But she had? Yeah, for how long, my dear? Who brought 20. her? 20 years? Yes. Who brought her? Who is the witness? Who? That her grandmother put something in her stomach. While she her grandfather. In the mother. Grandmother put something in her stomach for a oh very my. long time. For your grandmother put something in your in stomach. stomach. Yes, you see that this, 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 this is the kind of thing that we are saying. Now the grandmother may not be wicked. But it's just that this is, this is why the gospel is important to reach everywhere. Because some of this probably she may have done it in hope to protect her or give some kind of thing every planting that is not of god roaming around your body in the name of jesus christ i declare that it gets out of your body now you can see that this one is not ordinary stomach pain no some of our parents and grandfathers may do certain things sincerely but then these things would now backfire because place your hand there my dear you can see how she's even weak how long has this been 20 years. for 20 years look at me you believe in the power of the holy spirit lay your hands there i command that thing now whatever it is right now out of her the name of Jesus Christ blotting out every handwriting the Bible says and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross I administer the ministry of the blood 
and by it we break every legal access that Satan has over your body in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free right now I set you free now my dear look at me look at me run run look at look at this this is someone who could not even sit down there look at the lady is crying 20 years of this demonic captivity my dear any pain now check it no 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 any pain I'm free. the sun sets you free indeed you are free you see let me tell you when something is of a demonic origin there is no amount of medical attention that will solve it you will think this lady just has a medical condition this is a demonic thing yes please pile for about three how many years? who is that so she cannot sit down this mama mama yes she cannot sit what down. happened to you five right from my bed right from bed yes. can you imagine a woman this age me that it's an inherited pile inherited pile hold on please hold on let's for, for how long mama 51 years now oh my god and what happened now now i'm feeling nothing <laughs> so it comes to people by inheritance that's what they told you listen stand up everybody in the name of jesus christ please receive this prayer everything connecting you with enchantments and operations of witchcraft by the blood of the eternal covenant here at this conference be separated from them now be separated from them now every backlog of demonic inheritance transferred to you as ill health transferred to you help them please as failure in the name of Jesus we break it right now please hear me just help those under the anointing you see that most of the problems of people come from some of these trado African practices now there are healthy practices of morality and respect but there are demonic practices madam lay your hands let me seal that miracle for you lay your hands on your stomach as a point of contact please look at me in the name of Jesus I decree and declare I use you as a point of contact to everyone connected to your family we break that demonic thing now after 51 years Jesus sets you free and indeed he has set you free you remain free forever hallelujah I'm not a prophet of doom but I want us to pray while I was praying for this woman I saw a politician in this city moving with a convoy and I saw a ghastly motor accident I just saw blood the Lord is asking me that we pray I'm not a prophet of doom when God reveals like this is because salvation has come this is not to plan fear that thing that looks like an ordinary accident is a demonic thing because this same spirit is planted all across the nation to destroy certain people just believe what I'm telling you in the name of Jesus Christ we declare by the power of the Holy Spirit whoever is the politician concerned we use some of our politicians here as points of contact may the Lord preserve their life in the name of Jesus you are preserved from the waster preserved from the scourging tongues of men in the name of Jesus Christ let's have one or two more then we can quickly pray growth in the breast growth madam how long January January you started sensing the lump I used to feel it I used to feel it I went to hospital they gave me drugs I used to feel it but today that it's up that everyone have lungs in the breast if you touch it I touch it 
it's gone you've checked it in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare perfection for you right now in Jesus name can we take one more and my then green for five years how long my dear five years sir. five years sometimes I cannot even attend lectures I'll be feeling headache if I start you are a student sir. where University of Meduguri. okay you can't attend lecture because of it sometimes if I wake up I have to spend like five minutes before I start place your hand on your head the devil is a liar in the name of Jesus Christ we bring you liberty by the power of God you are healed now and you remain healed forever now for sake of time I pray for all of you who have come out and others who could not make it out in the name of Jesus the healings you have received remain permanent in your life in the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards me please and begin to pray I'm going to be praying over these requests if you are yet to submit yours please those outside have they submitted their own if you are yet to submit yours just wave your own request and an usher will pick it very quickly and they'll bring it here right now I want to pray for you now unto the Lamb upon the throne we raise a sound we raise a sound for he is God and God alone hallelujah Hallelujah. Please very quickly submit your prayer request so that we begin to pray. Now on to the Lamb upon the throne. We raise a sound. We raise a sound. Over the nations of the earth. Hallelujah. I believe in the God that answers prayers and I want you to stretch your hands here right now and begin to declare that the Egyptians I see today I see them no more forever go ahead you just stretch your hands I will bow my knees to the God of heaven and pray you don't have to kneel I'll do the kneeling for you let it be from the depth of your heart declare that everything I've written here must return as a testimony are you praying Are you praying? Are you praying? She branda gatuska te prete ke tibala kusia. Father, in the name of Jesus, visit your people. Please believe it. This is not just some church ritual we are doing. God answers prayers. agree with me as I pray when I say in Jesus name I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice are you ready in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever you will see them no more forever
hear me every spirit that is back of the challenges here written we command their final exodus from your life every human agent who must be in partnership with the holy spirit to grant answers to this request we compel their ministry right now for those trusting god for open doors may doors be opened by this prayer let shame and reproach come to an end hear me anybody holding what is yours by the power that raised christ from the dead we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn until you become the rightful possessor of that blessing please believe in this prayer you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you after this conference every garment of shame and reproach in the name of jesus we tear off that garment right now prophetically i stand upon this prayer request everything that has stood upon your life to cause you stress i bring it under the feet of jesus i bring it under the feet of jesus whatever has delayed your destiny helper from reaching you men and women ordained of god to hold your hands and help you wherever they are across Kombe, in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i command them to appear now hallelujah please listen carefully I pray especially for the young men in this city the spirit that stops young men from being established that people just continue to grow old and they are still staying in their parents homes in the name of Jesus Christ I release upon you the grace for structural establishment hallelujah You see I want you to pay attention we're wrapping up there is a spirit that has plagued the Northeast and the Middle Belt from drunkenness to irresponsibility to complacency and mediocrity these are wicked spirits that sabotage the glorious destinies of people people can be abroad for 30 years and return back as if they've never crossed out of a city in the name of jesus everyone under the trap and the influence of that spirit i command be free from it now be free from it now i arrest the spirit of death that keeps killing people in families i decree and declare everyone will live the fullness of their days hallelujah for the election that is coming may god give you leaders in this city that will help to sponsor development in the name of jesus christ and for everyone who means well for the name of the lord and for the welfare of the people may god give them a chance to rise and anybody who will cause pain to god's people and cause pain to the work of the cross i stand by the apostolic anointing and i declare that anyone that is not for god and for the well-being
million of people in this land will never remain up again in the name of Jesus. I'm not a politician, I don't do politics. But every time I get to talk to politicians, I tell them, let's be governed by the fear of the Lord. Let's be governed by conscience. And let's be governed by a sense of posterity. There are people who have a sincere desire to help and bless. We pray that God will lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I rebuke the spirit of poverty? Don't say it doesn't matter. That is already an attack. If you think it does not matter, it's an attack on your life. In the name of Jesus. God who is able to show men mercy and give them the wisdom and the grace to be productive alongside the favor to prosper. In the name of Jesus, may that God visit you now. Let's pray for the church in Gombe. By the church in Gombe, I mean every man of God and every assembly that names the name of Christ. Listen very carefully. Remember my opening statement? If Pastor A wins and Pastor B loses, the church lost. It is only when Pastor A and Pastor B together are effectively lifting up the name of Jesus. Can I tell you this? Thank God for the leaders and the fathers of faith that are here. Never become a tool for the division of the body of Christ. We may differ here and there based on our convictions. We may not agree here and there. But provided we agree that Jesus is Lord, the Savior and the soon coming King, is enough point of unity. Are we together now? The truth is that as far as ministry is concerned, we differ in our levels of graces and the various levels of our interest in the things of God, which ultimately culminates to the variety of anointings and graces that work in our lives. But can I tell you, if you are a great man and God has helped you and you are seeing results, do not downplay anyone. Even if all you have is two members, the price of every one member is the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah that the spirit of competition competitive jealousy I am better than this I'm anointed we banish it from this city and let me speak to us respectfully because sometimes it's members that cause trouble to men of God when you begin to sing praises and say Saul killed 1,000 and David killed 10,000 you will cause trouble between Saul and David we may not all do the same thing at the same level, but every single one of us is serving Jesus in truth. Can I tell you, you may think that the Joshua Selmans are the ones doing ministry. It's until the day Jesus comes, you will see that there was an, a nameless, faceless intercessor who prayed these people. You can clap for Jesus for doing a great work, but do not forget Anna the prophetess. Do not forget John the Baptist. And especially some of us who are younger in ministry, make sure you respect the fathers. Don't look at them and say they don't have any revelation, no anointing. They have character that most of our young people don't have. They have leadership. They have been there for 30, 40, 50 years. Risk their life serving the Lord. Every father of faith in this land is deserving of honor from everyone. Do not give honor just on the basis of revelation or crowd or membership. Anyone who has served the Lord and served the kingdom is deserving of your honor. Are we together? The father should also honor the sons. Because just, you see, generally you see, the current move of God always fights the next move of God. Fathers too, respectfully speaking, must be cautious. When you see young people that God is using mightily, don't downplay what God is doing. Because if you fight them and they still succeed, you will spend your life living in shame. It's better to identify those that God is helping and just fine-tune some of their excesses. A young man may have a lot of character issues, but it does not mean he's not anointed. Rather than throwing them away 
and then they go and find God by his mercy and now you will end up in shame for prophesying they will not succeed and yet they succeeded Young people, don't fight the fathers because someone is falling under the anointing in your meeting. It takes more than falling and rising to remain. There is a stamina and a skill that only Eli can teach Samuel. Even though Samuel will be the prophet who will ordain Saul and David, he still needs Eli to know the voice of God. Hallelujah. Bombay State, walk in unity walk in unity walk in unity those who god has helped and prospered you are a big man not just by the amount of cars you have but by the amount of lives you are transforming the measure of your being big is not in acquisition it's in impact is god helping us parents be responsible over your children don't give birth to children and hand them over to government and people to take care of for you send your children to school encourage them to go to school let them see the value of education and if it will eventually culminate to a great life and for those who may not be doing well in school don't discourage them encourage them because there is hope for a tree even if it caution are we together yes encourage responsibility i'm challenging those of us who are in government put programs that help young people to be responsible all this roaming around is why crime rate will continue to increase the young people must be meaningfully engaged there must be programs that stimulate development and stimulate creativity and in truth no government can do it alone and so we pray that god will attract businessmen and uh, attract people who have the passion to change this territory there are many people from your soil that are successful may god bring them back to come and contribute to the growth of the place it's not a foreigner that will come and build your land foreigners will only assist but god must raise indigenous people and empower them with the spirit of god let's shun laziness an entitlement mentality don't wait for the government i don't care whether it's whatever political party that one is none of my business every government demands responsibility from citizens to maximize the government no government on its own will be able to produce the best of citizens citizens must take responsibility many of you are young people here you may not have the privilege as soon is on strike you can go into farming God has blessed us with good soil. Go into farming and, and be responsible. Begging around will bring to stealing and all kinds of vices that are not of God. Are we together? And for the men and the women of God, may God grant us grace to continue to do ministry with integrity. In the name of Jesus Christ, that every pulpit will be an altar, a platform for salvation, for transformation for empowerment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ finally we pray for Gombe state father we lift up this state before you you have called it a jewel in the savannah may it speak as it is called in the name of Jesus I pray prophetically for Gombe may strange mineral resources be discovered on your soil we are tracked by prophecy the presence of strategic investors both local and foreign to come and invest in your land in the name of jesus christ and i pray even for the ministers of the gospel they are the shapers of the spiritual convictions of people here may god raise help for them so that they can stand strong as they preach in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus now this is my final session I heard from here to Bauchi but I will not end this conference and this crusade as you may call it without giving someone a chance to come to Jesus we didn't have the time to make an altar call yesterday but there are people outside multitudes of people outside some of you across the balcony I see you and some who are standing here please no movement let's stand is the last call 
and you are saying apostle do not end this conference without giving me an opportunity to start afresh with Jesus for some of you you are saying I've been around the things of church but I've never consciously made a decision for Jesus for others you are saying apostle I've given my life to Jesus Christ but within the last one year my life has gone haywire I need restoration and I need rededication some are outside some are inside for those outside as I make the altar call I will request that you come to the front of your projector screen if there's any or just the front of wherever you are seated and stand there for those inside here who are saying apostle give me a chance to encounter Jesus afresh again before this conference ends I'm going to count one to five wherever you are you know that you need Jesus I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain come and stand right in front here I begin my counting now one let's celebrate them as they come run to Jesus two apostle I want to come but I'm ashamed of my friend leave them alone and come to Jesus If you're coming, please rush for sake of time. Three. Those outside, I hope you are moving to your screens. Walk to Jesus. Walk to Jesus. And this life is in His Son. And this life is in his son. So he who was the son has eternal life. He who was the son has eternal life. I have the son, so I have eternal life. Who was the son? Look at me, please, all of you in front and those who are following, and those who are following from your homes, from wherever you may be viewing from. Here's your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life. He said, Ye must be born again. There is no other name the Bible declares under heaven given unto men by which we must be saved. I thank you for making this bold decision to stand before Jesus. Some of you are making it as a first decision. Some of you are rededicating your life. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's like you are coming to receive an award. But this time around, it's an eternal award. The very life of the Son of God. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head and pray this prayer after me, knowing that Jesus is hearing you and that your profession of faith will culminate to your being a recipient of the life of God. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I ask you to forgive my sin. I receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that you are my Savior you are my Lord you are my King I declare that the power of sin of Satan of hell and of the grave is broken over my life from today and forever I am a child of God. I have the life of God. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you. You are able to save even to the uttermost and you have drawn these ones by your spirit. They have made their declarations of faith and based on the integrity of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that the Lord grants you a new beginning. I command that the power of sin, Satan, hell and the grave is broken over your life right now. 
I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I pray that you'll be grounded and you'll be established in righteousness. The grace to live the victorious Christian life, I impart that grace upon you. You go forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Let's give them a big hand clap. All right, here's what I want you to do. For all of you who have made this decision, may I please request that you just move gallantly to my right. Please um, pay attention to the base of the crane so it does not injure you. Let's celebrate them as they go. My right, which is your left. A few counselors will be there to receive you. And soon after, you'll be back to your seat. Are you celebrating them? hallelujah for one last time let me again appreciate the entire community of the men and the women of god that make up the spiritual voices in this land i honor you sincerely and may the lord bless you in the name of jesus the pfn the can and then the leadership of house on the rock pastor thank you so so much for the opportunity to be a blessing all our parliamentarians the politicians all the businessmen and all who have come to honor jesus and to honor what he's doing in our lives to make this conference a success let me lend my voice with um pastor sam to say a very big thank you for doing all that you have done for jesus the labor and the sacrifice of coming and remaining here yesterday i'm told that as early as 4 a.m there were already people who came here and have been here from that time till now you will never, never, never stop testifying from all the miracles that would have happened here. And I'm praying that by the Spirit of God, even from Gombe State, may God raise many who are even greater than Joshua Selman. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will bless you. I pray that the Lord will increase you in the name of Jesus Christ. And for as many of you who have loved ones across um, Bauchi State, do invite them and let them know that this evening and tomorrow very early in the morning we'll have this similar encounter. We're taking the healing, saving and delivering power of Jesus Christ to that land and I know that it will be an impactful time. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Hello beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain